A preliminary hearing is set today for two Fullerton police officers accused of beating a homeless man to death. Kelly Thomas's father is speaking out about a video he saw of his son being beaten. KTLA's Olga Espino live outside the courthouse in Santa Ana. Olga, good morning. Good morning. That preliminary hearing should be starting at any moment now. In that video that you mentioned, Kelly Thomas's father is now speaking out about that. And that security video, well, the DA, Tony Rokakis, he will be presenting that in court here today. He's going to be asking the judge to uh, have these two officers uh, be, um, well, go to trial for the beating death of a homeless man in July of last year. Now, both officers have been on leave since October. They're currently free on bail. There they are. They are Jay Cicinelli, charged with involuntary manslaughter and excessive use of force. Manuel Ramos, he faces second-degree murder and involuntary manslaughter charges. Now, the key evidence, uh, Tony Rakaka says, is this video. It's from cameras at the Fullerton Bus Depot, from cell phone video, also some city video. Video. Kelly's father uh, for a while was not able to actually comment on this video because he had signed a legal agreement with the DA's office. He is now able to speak about that. And he also, when he saw the video, he says he saw another officer by the name of Joe Wolf. And he says that he should also be held responsible for his son's death. For Wolf, he needs to be charged with murder. He needs to be charged with murder because of his actions from the very beginning of hitting Kelly with his hands in the air, hitting him with that baton, which is a deadly weapon. Wolf was the first one on him, the last one off of him. Now, the two officers uh, who have uh, these uh, criminal charges against them, they have pled not guilty. The DA himself will be prosecuting the case in the courtroom. Again, that preliminary hearing will be starting here at any moment. That's the latest from the Orange County Courthouse. I'm Olga Spina. Back to you guys in the studio. Olga, thank you. A preliminary hearing is underway for the Fullerton officers charged with the beating death of Kelly Thomas. Will they stand trial? Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Leela Feinstein. Photos that shocked the courtroom and testimony from several witnesses open the hearing, which will decide whether the officers will be tried on charges that include murder and involuntary manslaughter. KTLA's David Begno is in Santa Ana with the latest from the courtroom. David? Good afternoon from Santa Ana, Glenn. We heard something in court today we had not heard ever since Kelly Thomas was beaten back last July 5th, 2011. Apparently, on that night when paramedics were called, no one initially said when paramedics arrived, no one said anything about Kelly on the ground there, barely breathing and almost dead. Instead, we found out in court today, officers told paramedics about their minor, non-life-threatening injuries, and it was more than a minute before paramedics were told, there's a man on the ground barely breathing. It was the first in what is expected to be a full day of dramatic I spent the courtroom this morning with graphic pictures of an unconscious shown in open court. This is definitely reopening wound. Maybe I have masked or set aside a little bit, so it's a really emotional day for me too. Also seen for the first time, photos from the night six Fullerton police officers confronted Kelly at a Fullerton bus station July 5th, 2011. This blood stain shows where Kelly collapsed. This was the taser used on Kelly. And this was a baton used by Officer Joe Wolf. Wolf was photographed with injuries to his elbow and his wrist. Also photographed, the two officers criminally charged in Kelly's death, Manuel Ramos and Jay Cicinelli. The police technician who took those photos took the stand this morning and said when she arrived on July 5th, Officer Ramos appeared visibly shaken, tired, sitting against a police officer leaning over holding his rib cage. He was reportedly out of breath and nervous, in disbelief about what happened, saying, quote, this was the fight of my life. I've never had anyone fight me like that before. A Fullerton fire captain testified when paramedics arrived on scene, some of the officers told him that fellow officers had lacerations and injuries. No one immediately said anything about Kelly. Within one minute, the fire captain noticed Kelly leaning up against the leg of a police officer. He was ashen-colored, breathing slowly and unconscious. By the time paramedics got him into an ambulance, Kelly's heart stopped beating. CPR was performed for 18 minutes before doctors finally revived him at St. John's Hospital. All those police officers standing around, nobody saying, look at this man in the gutter, please come help him. 
They're worried about little band-aid scratches of themselves, not my son dying. Ron Thomas had tears in his eyes in the courtroom today. Testimony. The judge has recessed for lunch, but when we come back this afternoon, we expect the video which captured the beating from a city camera at that bus station will be shown in open court for the first time. Cameras are allowed, and we will show you that video coming up tonight on the KTLA News at 6. For now, we are live in Santa Ana. I'm David Begno, KTLA 5 News. All right, David. Disturbing new details of the beating death of Kelly Thomas drawing a strong reaction today in court. The evidence includes the public's first look at graphic security tape as a judge decides whether two Fullerton police officers will stand trial for the fatal beating. KTLA's David Begno is live in Santa Ana with more on today's preliminary hearing. David? Sure, I got to tell you, this video we saw in court today is hard to watch. Listening to Kelly Thomas scream for help and for his father, for over 20 minutes, but this video is critical in this case. If it were not for this video, these officers may have never been arrested. No one may have ever been held accountable in the death of Kelly Thomas. The video is 40 minutes in length, nearly 40 minutes that Kelly Thomas had six grown men on top of him with knees at his neck and knees in his chest as he begged for help. It's dark and somewhat grainy, but that's Kelly Thomas arguing with a Fullerton police officer by the name of Manuel Ramos. Ramos has just told Kelly, quote, you see these fists? They're going to F you up. Kelly stands up to defend himself, and a second officer by the name of Joe Wolf pulls out his baton and hits Kelly. Those were people in the courtroom today yelling in horror at what they were seeing. <laughs> officers Ramos and Wolf take Kelly to the ground. As backup is called, a total of six officers are on scene. And the beating of Kelly Thomas lasts for more than 20 minutes. No! 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 Kelly is tased as the scuffle continues. He's yelling for his dad and he's begging for help. <laughs> As Kelly labors, his voice begins to give out. A hobble is tied around his feet. Several of the officers are on top of Kelly, their knees and fists in his face and his chest. As Officer Jay Cicinelli takes out his taser, video shows him striking Kelly in the head. This is what that taser looked like afterward. Cicinelli and Ramos are the two officers who have been charged in Kelly's death. This is definitely reopening wounds. That maybe I have masked or set aside a little bit, so it's a really emotional day for me, too. Officer Ramos told investigators after the incident, That was the fight of my life. I've never had anyone fight me like that before. Kelly was comatose, unresponsive when paramedic, in fact, on the way to the hospital, his heart stopped beating. One of the accused officers, Jay Cicinelli, is quoted on the tape as saying, We ran out of options, so I got the end of my taser and I probably. I just started smashing his face to hell. There was a fire captain who testified today that when he got to the scene, the police were doing nothing to help Kelly. The fire captain talks about getting there and treating the injured officers who had minor injuries and then looking over at one point and seeing Kelly just sitting on the ground as he was barely able to breathe. And moments later, he went into full cardiac arrest. The preliminary hearing will continue tomorrow, and the judge will then decide if there is enough evidence to take this case to trial. We'll be in the courtroom. For now, we are live in Santa Ana. I'm David Begno, KTLA 5 News. Powerful new evidence in the beating death of Kelly Thomas was unveiled today in court during a preliminary hearing. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. KTLA's David Begno is live in Santa Ana where a preliminary hearing got underway for two Fullerton cops at the center of this controversy. David? Share that hearing continues tomorrow here at the Santa Ana Courthouse, set to start at 8.30 in the morning. The judge in the hearing has to decide, is there enough evidence to put these two officers on trial? It is so rare that police officers are arrested and charged for an on-the-job related offense. But then again, this video is so troubling that I want to warn you, it may be hard for you to watch. But for the next couple minutes, I want you to think of yourself as a juror and see what you think. <laughs>
Those are some of Kelly Thomas's last words to his dad. As the unarmed homeless man is being manhandled by six Fullerton police officers armed with tasers, batons, and the kind of physical force that prosecutors say killed Kelly. I'm sorry, Kelly yells, but the beating doesn't stop. The defense will argue, no doubt, Kelly was resisting. But you be the judge. Was this justified? The beating starts after Kelly won't put his hands on his knees like Officer Manuel Ramos wants him to. So Ramos tells Kelly, you see these fists? They're about to F you up. Kelly's got his hands up, palms are out like, hey, hey, you know, we don't need to do this. And then he got cracked anyway so damn hard. Kelly is tackled to the concrete, punched, and then tased. Look at this one officer punching Kelly. It gets worse. Watch that officer holding what looks to be a flashlight. It's actually the light on a taser gun. He just pummels it into Kelly's head repeatedly. Yelling, I love you, Dad, I love you, Mom, Kelly's cries start to die off. As Kelly is literally dying under the weight of six grown men, two of whom are now charged in his death, Manuel Ramos and Jay Cicinelli. They allegedly beat Kelly until he no longer moved. And an emergency responder testified in court today the officers did nothing to help him as he lay motionless, dying on the ground. And that emergency responder testified in court today. The officers didn't even mention Kelly at first when they got to the scene. They were talking about their own cuts and minor lacerations. They didn't even say anything about Kelly, who was there on the ground. It wasn't until the fire captain looked over and said, who's that? It was Kelly, and he was near death. The officers, of course, are innocent until proven guilty. That is why tonight they are free on bail. They'll be back in court tomorrow, and so will we. We're live tonight in Santa Ana. I'm David Begno, KTLA 5 News.